Welcome to our Exter aluminum card holder review. If you're wondering to yourself, does this wallet rock or does it suck? How does it work with that Chipolo tracking device thing? And how does it compare to Exter's super popular, somewhat controversial, Parliament original wallet? In this video, we'll discuss all that and more. And if this is not the wallet for you, I'll make some alternative recommendations at the end of the video that might better suit your needs. Let's start by talking about the gist of the Exter aluminum card holder. Exter is on a mission to modernize the wallet game. They came blazing onto the scene with their Parliament wallet, which we did a full review of, which you can find in the description below. But as fun and futuristic as this wallet is, it's kind of on the bulky side. So Exter decided to make a slim down version of that wallet without compromising on quality of materials or user experience. It uses space grade aluminum materials, comes in around 15 different color options. It comes with the main wallet and a back plate, which is included. The main wallet can hold up to six cards and the back plate can hold up to eight cards. And it comes with an optional tracker made from a company called Chipolo, which slips onto the back right here. But really the biggest selling point is this sleek, sexy aluminum frame and the trigger access which is either super awesome or super extra, depending on you know what you're looking for. For me, it's a bit extra, but for a lot of people, they just love the satisfaction of being like, don't worry, Bill, dinner's on me. All extra products are covered by their 12 month warranty. And this wallet runs around 70 to 80 USD, depending on the color you get. And the Chipolo tracker comes in at an extra 35 USD. And if at any point in time you're like, yes, mm, I want to do that. That's, that's what I want. I don't care what it costs. And you're going to make a purchase. We do ask that you do so using the first link in the description. Reason being that link makes sure that you get the best price and sometimes we have discount codes. But that link also helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel, which we greatly appreciate. Thank you so much. First up, let's talk about branding. The original had a logo on the outside and one, two logos on the inside. But the new aluminum card holder has the E on the money clip and the complete extra branding on the back plate. Oh, and we got extra on the side there. Little extra branding, I think, for a premium wallet brand, but not a deal breaker in my opinion. But let's talk about the most important feature of this wallet, in my opinion, next to the trigger, which is the materials. Because in essence, what Extra did was they took this aluminum frame from their original wallet, the Parliament, and just kind of stripped all the leather off of it. And so now you have a more stripped down version. But while it's more stripped down, it's gonna be significantly harder. And if you're the kind of person who likes to wear this in your front pocket, that harder material will feel bulky and definitely noticeable. But on the bright side, this aluminum is very durable and will last the test of time. First up, let's talk about the money clip. Basic money clip, decent nylon webbing, and the material where the branding is on is some sort of aluminum, I assume, as well. I'm based in Hong Kong, so my Hong Kong dollars slide right in. The different material used on the money clip helps to give you a little bit of leverage, which makes it easier to grab. And the nylon webbing is nice and tight, which means your money is secure. Flipping over, we have the back plate. And in essence, it gives you easy access to your cards from the bottom of the back plate. But I'm gonna do one of these for easiness because you know, it gets a little tight in there, especially once you add some bills on one side. And if you're loading this up with six cards on the other side, the quickness of the access will sort of vary. Extra was kind enough to give us a little thumb slit right there, right? Which in essence just allows you to easier access the card, but it's gonna take a little finagling to get it out. But if you don't mind two-handing it and sort of doing one of these, you know, it's always accessible. The question will just be how quickly accessible it's going to be. One nice design choice though is that extra on this back plate, they gave the bottom a little bit of a groove, which therefore makes it easier to slide the card in to place. Okay, now let's talk about the actual trigger system, the biggest unique selling point, right? The trigger system itself, in my experience, has worked very, very well. It's a patented, difficult word to say, patented mechanism that just all you gotta do is kind of give one of these and the cards pop up into place. And usually the cards have an order to them. So the ones in the back, the tallest ones, and the ones in the front are the shortest ones. But I say usually because it doesn't always work perfectly. Eight times out of 10, eh, nine times out of 10, it works actually pretty seamlessly. Note that some people do say the trigger has broken on them. I've used this wallet fairly extensively and I've had no problems with it, but it's something to be aware of. And if that does happen to you, hopefully that's where Exter's 12 month warranty can help you out. The truth is it holds around four to six cards depending on your embossed to non-embossed ratio. And then finally, the Chipolo tracker. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not like a tracker expert. It seems though that like an AirTag is significantly just more 
trackerable than something like this because the net range is only 200 feet. It's a pretty small range in comparison to an air tag though. But if you're looking for a little extra peace of mind, it's definitely an option and it's only 35 bucks. And this slides on the backside of the money clip so you can put that there with your cash. But notice that once you start stacking it up, the wallet gets a little bit thicker, right? Like Aaron, the whole point of this was I wanted a thinner alternative to the original extra parliament thick wallet. So the good news, if that's your bag, you can take everything off, money clip, cash, tracker, and just run with the super slim aluminum card holder by itself. Let's talk about the pros and the cons of the extra aluminum card holder. Pro number one is the super sleek look. Pro number two is the super durable aluminum space grade materials. And pro number three, you gotta love a product that has a ton of modular accessories. It gives you options. But on the flip side, some of the cons, with the durability of that material is going to come, you know, extra bulkiness in your pocket. And con number two is that the trigger system might just be a little bit extra for some of y'all out there. But if you've taken the pros and cons into consideration, you're like, I want one of those wallets, they're so freaking cool. Get me one right now. Then just remember, we do ask that you do so using the first link in the description below. Thank you very much. But let's say you're not 100% sold. You're close, you're still here, right? But you're like, Aaron, those alternative suggestions, that's what I stuck around for, give them to me, I got you. Alternative suggestion number one is going to be the original extra parliament wallet. This will be for you if you love the whole trigger system, but you like the traditional leather look and feel. This wallet is just, Freaking huge. A lot of my peers and friends love it. And to learn more about it, go ahead and navigate down to the description below and you'll find links to our full review. Alternative suggestion number two is going to be the Aviator wallet. This is a great option for you if you're super into like high craft engineering and materials. Aviator, well, it's German made. What more do you need to know? And to learn more about the high craft engineering materials used in the Aviator wallet, take a look in the description below and you'll find a link to our full review. And finally, wallet alternative recommendation number three is going to be the Bellroy flip case. This is for you if you were interested in the extra aluminum wallet because you wanted like a hard wallet that can protect your cards and be durable. But maybe you don't need something quite as space grady and you want something a little bit more classy. That's what the flip case is great for. Hard shell, protects your cards, but without all the metal parts. And it's great for business cards. To learn more about this wallet, simply watch this video right here. And be sure to let me know if you have any questions in the description below. My name is Aaron, this is Nomad's Nation, and we'll catch you next time.